for this video, what I want to do is show you how to draw the t-distribution when you're running the t-test using the TI Inspire graphing calculator. For this one, I do not go into all of the proper mechanics of a hypothesis test. The purpose of this video is simply to show you how to run um, the test in the TI Inspire and how to draw out the t-distribution with the shading of the p-value. Okay, um, the reason that this one is a t-test is because we know the sample standard deviation and not the population standard deviation. So we've already gone through and tested all the conditions and everything to know that we can run the t-test. And I will provide a link to a video that shows you all of the mechanics involved in a t-test, but this one I just wanted to show you how to draw the picture. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our calculator and all of the information that we need is on this screen. We need our sample mean, we need our sample standard deviation, we need our sample size of 40, and we need to know what tail test we're drawing. So in this case, we're drawing a left tail test. So remember, since this is a t-test, our t-distribution would look like a bell curve. The calculator will shade the p-value for you and kind of show you where to set it up on a number line down here. Okay, we also need to know our mu naught. Mu naught is whatever the mean is in your null hypothesis. So this right here would be our mu naught that we would put into our calculator. So let's grab our calculator. If you want to just run the test and you don't want the picture, you would do this in option one where you add the calculator. But because I want to draw the picture, I need to put it in option four, a list in spreadsheet. Once I get to this screen, um, if you have all of the data to put in a list, you could put it in here directly and then run the test. Um, but in this case, we do not have all of the data. We have the stats. Um, so I'm gonna hit menu option four. And then I'm going to choose option four again. And for this one, we are going to do the t-test. So you do need to know the name of the test that you are running. And it's going to ask you for your input method. Do you have the data or do you have the stats? In this case, we have stats. We don't have anything to put into a list. And we're going to click OK. We would have chosen data if we had all of the values to put into a list. So now we're going to go through and we're going to put in all of the values that we had from our previous screen. So our mu naught was 12 because that was the value that was in our null hypothesis. X bar was 11.25. The sample standard deviation, the S sub X, represents the sample standard deviation is 2.5. In is 40. And for this one, we look at the alternative. Remember that our alternative tells us the tail of our test. So in this case, since it's less than, um, we would want to change this to be less than. So the H sub A, we have mu is less than, and we're going to scroll down here just a little bit to where it says draw. And I'm going to select this and click OK. When I do that, it does run the t-test in here. It's kind of hard to see the results. Um, it does split screen. For me, it's easier to make it where it's not a split screen. So one way that you can make it not a split screen is to hit control and up. And then I can hit control and menu and I can ungroup these two. So it will actually ungroup the two. So then I can just look at the drawing of my picture. So we see that our T is negative 1.8974. And our p-value is 0 0.0326. So then we could come and we can draw out our picture. So this represents our p-value. Which again was 0 0.0326. And then our standardized test statistic for this one was negative 1.89. And again, if you want to show out all the work, I will provide a link to that video um, that shows you how to show out all the work and do all the proper mechanics like checking conditions, interpreting the answer in the context of the problem. Um, for this one, I'm simply showing you how to draw it in your calculator. And then also you can use make a decision from here. So since our p-value, we're going to compare it to alpha. And since our p-value is 0 0.0326 and it is less than 0 0.05, we can reject the null hypothesis. So with this, again, if you, this were a proper setup of a null hypothesis or of a hypothesis test, you would have the context of the problem and you would be able to interpret in context. But in this case, I just wanted to show you how to draw this in your calculator. And 
you can make your decision based on your p-value. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.